Political turmoil continues in the southern Indian state of Tamil Nadu, barely days after former Chief Minister Karunanadhi passed away. The family feud between his sons has again come out in the open. Now, Aragiri addressed uh, his supporters today from the spot where Karunanadhi lies buried. He said that all DMK cadres are with him and he is pained by what is happening in the party. Aragiri is older to Stalin by two years. Stalin is 65 years old and Aragiri is 67 years old. Aragiri was expelled from the DMK in 2014 for anti-party activities. Since then, he had held his peace. Now, in absence of Karunanidhi, he can again assert his claim. His support base primarily stems from southern Tamil Nadu. His statement has come, as a, come a day before DMK top brass meeting in Chennai on Tuesday. In all likelihood, Stalin will be elevated as the president of DMK from working president of the party. He may not be able to split the party, but he can do significant damage to DMK during the Lok Sabha elections. Now, after Jailalitha and Karunanidhi's passing away, political vacuum exists in Tamil Nadu. Two famous film stars, Kamal Hassan and Rajanikanth, are already in the political fray, who have the capacity to dislodge traditional parties such as the DMK and the ADMK. Now, even during RK Nagar by-election, by the DMK came third, it has not been able to recover after the 2014 Lok Sabha elections. The DMK also lost to Jayalalitha in 2016. It can be a tough road ahead for Stalin as the first time in 50 years, the first generation of Tamil Nadu politicians are absent from the scene.